What's up guys, Graham here. Doing some Karth and Ridge on my mage. And I've got several of my guildies with me. We've got Sneakin, uh, Soul Bearer, Intense Slayer, Leothitis. I believe that's how you say his name. But I'm running my one button, well, mainly one button, Elementalist spec. And for some reason, I always seem to get lots of kills with this spec. If you would like to know what the spec is and how to play it and all that, I'm sure I'll have a link for it at the end of the video. Okay. So, alright. They already took out one healer there. I imagine with us having two guildies that are warriors, I imagine they'll be mauling through the enemies and I'll be lucky to keep up with them because I'm not running like pyro to where it's, you know, a kill still in spec. This is, this is a raw damage one button build and the warriors will probably beat me to the kills but that's okay they're my guildies and we've been owning it up all night long and our guild is growing all the time oh we've got complete control now very nice very nice but yeah our guild is growing all the time and uh oh all of our team is running off and they're coming mid Better let them know. Okay. But yeah, our guild is... Ah, don't be pulling me, man. Okay, we got a warrior on me. Got a second warrior on me. Anybody else want to join in on this? Ah, uh, got to sacrifice my pet to heal myself up. Do a fast summon of my pet back. And hopefully make them pay. Killing spree. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. My team's taking care of me. So nice whenever you get a team that actually comes and helps you out whenever you're in trouble. Because you'll get on a lot of teams where they just, they're all thinking about their kills. And they don't realize that, you know, helping out the rest of their team is going to help them get kills. Because if their team starts dying, they die right after. So. Very nice. Man. We're just ripping through these guys. And that's how it's been all night, man. I've been running with this guild group and... Man, we've just been mauling everybody. So it's not like we're just getting lucky this time or something. Our little pre-made here is working out really well. Which we're not assisting each other or anything like that. It's just that we've got such hard hitting guys with our warriors. And I've got pretty good DPS on this spec too. And... I believe sneaking is a rogue. That would be a name for a rogue. So I haven't played with him much so... Don't know his spec just yet, but playing with him now, so I'll get to learn. So we got a rogue, two warriors, and a healer. Which I'm not sure exactly which class Soul Bearer is yet. He just joined the guild today, but he's doing an awesome job, that's for sure. And sneaking is on a killing spree. But yeah guys, you know, the, these Warfront groups and we're entering into Conquest together all the time, our guild is, and we're doing really well. I mean, we have our off nights like anybody else, but, man, that warrior there is just not letting up on me, man. 
Every time he sees me, he he's treating me like I'm a healer or something that he needs to stick to. Leave me alone! And of course my CC is down. Only got one CC right now, so. Which sucks. But I had to run where all my other allies were over there. Because it was obvious that guy wasn't going to let up on me until I went to my backup. This isn't really a dueling spec, so if somebody sticks on you like that, you know, you kind of need to find some help. You can definitely kill people one-on-one, -on -one, but it's it's not real optimal for that. Not much for CC and stuff like that. And are they, oh, okay, they're attempting to three cap us. And our guys are taking flags and everything, man. This is this is awesome. This Warfront team that I've been running with all night is amazing. They're taking flags, they're killing everybody. You couldn't ask for better. Some, well, one enemy. Ah, uh, they got him. They got him taken care of. Gosh. You gotta get to these people before our warriors hit them because warriors are gonna slaughter anybody they touch, pretty much. Warriors are OP. Did I mention I've got three pieces of legendary Myrmidon gear on my warrior now? And getting close to a fourth piece. My warrior is an absolute monster. And I'm trying out new specs all the time. I'm running with a, a kind of a life drain spec right now. I'm testing it out. And it's funny because I got into a war front earlier and I was the top heels. Even though my I was just using stances and stuff like that to heal myself, the amount that I was healing myself was beating out the healer on our team. And it's kind of insulting to the healer because it's not like I was healing that much. But still, it was... For me, being a warrior, and it wasn't a paladin spec, to be healing myself that much, where I'm beating out our one healer on the team. Yeah, everybody was giving him all kinds of hell over that. I don't think I'm going to wear those two. Uh, I got back up now. Yeah, let's tear these people up. I was thinking I was flying solo against them two guys down there. I got back up now. Loving this team, man. Well, that's the Warfront, guys. Let's see. Yeah, Liu got 12 and 0. We got Intense Slayer 10 and 0. Sneaking 6 and 0. Me 5 and 0. Yeah, everybody did good.